What's up YouTube and welcome back to the Anabolic Outpost. And today is yet another summer themed recipe and another ice cream recipe trying to replicate the Wendy's Chocolate Frosty. And believe it or not, I am actually a former Wendy's employee myself. Back before I was into fitness and also making these recipes and I would always go for the Chocolate Frosty while I was on my shifts. Since reflecting on that time though, I have always wanted to replicate the chocolate frosty into something that's a little bit more on the healthy side and also way higher in protein. And the hardest part usually of course with health based recipes is finding the perfect consistency and luckily I think I have found it in this recipe. I will say it's not the lowest calorie recipe I have ever made with the cocoa powder and the pure peanut butter that's in there. But I suppose this recipe is catered more towards the bulking side of things. And this recipe right here is equivalent to about a small or medium sized frosty but sometimes I will even double this recipe. Which turns into a great bulking recipe or just a healthy recipe in general whichever route you're trying to go. It's pretty simple to make too so let me just quickly run through the ingredients and show you what you will need. The first ingredient here is protein powder. As always I'm going with PE Science and I'm using their only chocolate flavored protein powder in the chocolate cupcake. I really wish they just made a milk chocolate. PE Science please get on that. Next is milk. I am using fat free milk however you could use whatever kind of milk you'd like. I'd even recommend going the whole milk route if you're trying to use this as a bulking recipe. Next is peanut butter, cocoa powder, one frozen banana and also you will need ice. The process for making this is overall pretty simple especially compared to some of my other recipes. This is as simple as it gets. I'm going to go ahead and whip out my favorite food processor here and throw in the protein powder measuring that out at 32 grams. Like I was saying earlier as much as I like PE science if you could find a milk chocolate flavored protein powder I'm sure that would work a lot better than what I am using here. It'll still taste great whatever flavor you have, I just wish that they made a milk chocolate. Anyway, moving on here, I'm adding in the cocoa powder now, measuring that out at 8 grams. I'm blessing myself with a heaping tablespoon of peanut butter here, measuring that out at 24 grams. If you're bulking though, you know what to do, just throw as much peanut butter as humanly possible in there. Don't even worry about measuring that stuff. And now for the liquid of this recipe, the milk, measuring that out at 160 grams. I've made a lot of recipes myself and I am still struggling to find a way to replicate heavy whipping cream and I don't think I ever will but I guess milk will do the trick. And finally the moment you've all been waiting for here, watching me struggle as I try to peel this frozen banana and freeze my hands off as they slowly go numb. I can't be the only one that can't feel my fingers when you peel a frozen banana. So uh, let me just cut the camera here as the struggles continue. And the last ingredient here is ice. I will be adding in 70 grams but if you want to make it more voluminous you could add more ice of course that is the way. That's definitely why I like this recipe though. Compared to my anabolic ice cream recipes that are kind of more of a protein fluff this replicates the frosty texture perfectly in my opinion. That's it for the ingredients though, you can go ahead and blend it up until smooth. And this is that smooth consistency that you're looking for right here. Should still move around like a liquid but still have that thickness that you're looking for in a frosty. And that is it as far as the recipe making goes. Like I said pretty simple overall and you can transfer it over to your favorite drinking glass. And there you have it, there is your chocolate frosty and if you even want to take it one step further, go to your local Wendy's and ask for an empty cup and you could give yourself that complete frosty satisfaction and trick your brain into thinking that you're getting an authentic Wendy's frosty. 
The best part is, though, is that it's not authentic, and the reason why that's so good is because of the macros, which I'm going to be breaking down right now. In the recipe that we made today, in total, it has 35 grams of protein, 52 grams of carbs, 20 grams of fat, for a total of 510 calories. Like I was saying, definitely a bit higher on the calorie side, but of course, half of those calories basically are from the peanut butter, and you could even leave that out or substitute some PB2 if you're trying to turn this into a cutting frosty. Or on the flip side of that, double this recipe and double the amount of peanut butter that's in there, and you easily have a protein shake that's 12, 1300 calories without even realizing it. It'll taste great and also a perfect nightcap to add to your diet. I'm going to leave you with that today though. If you did have any questions or were confused about anything regarding this recipe, drop a comment down below and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Other than that, if you found this helpful today, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.